Hello friends, today we will see one more very interesting part of the dynamics that is what projectile motion and mostly before engineering also many students study this projectile motion in 11-12. So in short projectile or projectile is what? Anything if we throw in the air at an angle other than 90 degree means we should not throw vertically upward or we should not throw directly downward. Apart from this, if we throw anything in the air, it's a projectile. It is a projectile. And in a very simple way, I'll tell, actually projectile motion is nothing but the combination of horizontal motion and vertical motion. And here, horizontal motion, HM, it is always constant velocity. Air friction is neglected. It is constant velocity in horizontal direction. And vertical direction motion, it is uniform acceleration, uniform acceleration and it is specially motion under gravity that acceleration is G only and the combination of such type of motion is nothing but projectile motion and actually the projectile motion so some of the terms they are going to be like this so it is the point of projection it is the point of strike so this is the velocity of projection u it is the angle of projection alpha this a b is the range and c is the point of maximum height and this curve is going to be a trajectory it is going to be always parabolic now i will not explain all in detail but general equation of a parabola a projectile it is equation of a parabola y is equal to x tan alpha minus g x square by 2 u square cos square alpha. So many problems can be solved directly by using this formula also or you can use the basic concept. So whatever you feel better you can use it. So if you know this basics we can solve many problems easily and apart from this basic you try to remember this general formula also. So today I will take very few examples three four examples and again later on also again we'll take some more examples so how we can solve these problems and what are very simple ways of solving the problems of projectile i'll explain yeah. now i'll take a very first example a aircraft moving horizontally at a speed of 720 kilometers per hour at a height of 1000 meters towards a target on the ground towards the target on the ground releases a bomb which hits the target which hit the target time required for the bomb to reach the target on the ground and the horizontal distance of the aircraft from the target so these two things we have to calculate means the aircraft is flying horizontally and if anything if we drop from it it will move something like this with the same velocity means this is one of the best case of horizontal projection horizontal projection always it needs certain height and that height it is mentioned so this is going to be height means from this height of 1000 meter it is projected horizontally and it will hit the target the initial velocity of this bomb is going to be the velocity of velocity of aircraft aircraft and it will hit the target at this place what we have to calculate the time required for the bomb to release the target on the ground and the horizontal distance of the aircraft from the target so this horizontal distance is going to be this range actually so for solving the problem it is one of the easiest example but it's basic also i'll try to explain on right hand side and you should not go for it it's not required only i'm explaining it if we consider what i told horizontal motion is constant velocity vertical motion vm from ab so this is not part of the solution remember vertical motion from a to b tell me so it is constant acceleration it is constant acceleration or motion under gravity then there we can use any equation of motion then from a to b what is the vertical distance moved 
so in that case see if i consider it is projected from height h in general then vertical displacement is going to be h it is s correct now other thing is what what is the initial velocity initial velocity in vertical direction velocity is horizontal in vertical direction that initial velocity is zero u into t plus half g t square it is very very simple and from this this is zero 2 h by g means time of flight you will get like this under root 2 h by g it is very simple and whatever this range is there the velocity is constant in horizontal direction and that velocity is u and this is time of flight means by using this two very simple formula in the exam you don't have to do that but for your understanding i am telling then how we can get the time of flight time of flight is going to be t is equal to under root time required for the bomb to reach the target it is time of flight 2 h by g and 2 h by g is what 2 into 1000 by 9.81 by 9.81 so how we can get this answer it is going to be under root 2h by g and that uh, time is going to be t square t is equal to 2h by g so it is equal to 2 into 1000 it is 2000 divided by 9.81 9.81 it is 203.87 203.87 or 278 so t is going to be time of flight is going to be 14.278 seconds problems are very simple the weightage may be a big and the horizontal distance of the aircraft from the target when it releases the bomb means actually this distance range we have to calculate and range is going to be u into t and here u is what 720 actually it is kilometer per hour so in terms of meters per second that u is going to be 720 by 3.6 3.6 means it is I think 200 meters per second means 720 by 3.6 it is 200 meters per second then what it will be 200 into 14.278 this is the range and R is going to be R is going to be 200 into 14 point 278 278 it is 285 point 6 meters or 2.85 kilometers this is the answer it is the answer 2855.56 by 36 correct it is going to be 2855 means such very simple examples we may get in the examination and we must solve it now it was the first example now see one more special example of the dynamics means it's not necessary that we should have the answer in many lines sometimes in the mechanics problem maybe for eight marks an answer we may get in one line we may get in one line here what is asked calculate the minimum possible magnitude u of the muzzle velocity which a projectile to be fired from point a means u we have to get minimum u from point a to reach the target b 
on the same horizontal plane 12 kilometer away means this is a horizontal distance 12 kilometer away so here let us consider this is alpha and this r is going to be 12 kilometer means 12000 meters correct then a very simple formula for inclined projection on level ground is what r is equal to u square sin 2 alpha sin 2 alpha by g and now u square or u is equal to or you can write u square is equal to r into g r into g by sin 2 alpha sin 2 alpha and see when this value will be minimum if this denominator is maximum and the maximum for this u minimum means u will become u minimum if r into z this value the denominator sin to alpha is maximum and that maximum value is 1 means sin to alpha is going to be maximum and that maximum value is 1 that means u minimum is going to be what u minimum is going to be what r is r is 12000 meters into 9.81 kilometer i have converted into meter and u square it is u minimum means this is u minimum and this problem is being asked in phone university for 8 marks and the answer is root 12000 into 9.81 343.1 meters per second 343.1 meters per second finish means when you are having very less time you can directly write u minimum is going to be under root rg means in one line also we can get this answer and so this is the minimum possible velocity then we can have the next example also the next example during a race the dirt bike was observed to leap up the small hill at a at a at an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal if the point of landing is 6 meter away determine the approximate speed at which the bike was traveling just before it left the ground see this problem is also very 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 simple so here what is mentioned so we have to get determine the approximate speed at which means this this velocity from a when it is leaping that bike so that we have to get u is what u is what then what is mentioned over here alpha is 60 alpha is 60 in angle of projection r is 6 meters then what we have to use r is equal to u square sin to alpha this is the by g by g correct then r 6 meter u we have to calculate sin 2 into 60 sin 120 divided by 9.18 means in the next line we will get u and that u will be Six into nine point eight one divided by sine one twenty or six into nine point eight one six into nine point eight one it is fifty eight point eight six fifty eight point eight six 58.86 divided by sine 120. Yeah, the answer is 8.24 meters per second. Finish. 
this project problem projectile problems are very simple very interesting also we must solve then one more example so in this example just see it a golfer hits the goal ball from a point a with an initial velocity of 50 e is 50 meters per second at an angle alpha is 25 degree as shown in figure determine the horizontal distance ab and maximum height it attains if we are knowing this horizontal distance means range and range is what u square sine 2 alpha by z finish and if we write this u square 50 square into sine 2 into 25 ohm, means actually it is 50 divided by 9.81 finish this range will be range is going to be 50 square into sine 50 divided by 9.81 195.22 195 meters this is what determine the horizontal distance ab so this is nothing but ab and second is what the maximum height it attains so vertical direction motion is what it is constant acceleration then in that case even though if you don't recall the formula just on right hand side i am showing so when you are moving in upward direction so at the maximum height v square it becomes zero u square is equal to initial velocity if it is u u sin alpha u sin alpha means zero square is equal to u square minus upward motion it is e h max means directly h max this is not the part of the solution for your understanding h max is what u square sin square alpha by 2g finish means h max will be what u square sin square alpha by 2g u square u 50 50 square into sine square 25 divided by 2 into 9.81 now see this sine square alpha means sine 25 8 square 8 square into 50 square divided by 19.62 22.758 meters means h max at least all of you don't miss such problems such type of problems of projectile which are very very simple and again in one more lecture we'll see some slightly difficult examples actually if we understand this projectile neatly these problems are not difficult thank you